Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today, um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fully customizable changing color rainbow block. So, long story short, you know those, um, those maybe like super rare pets in like, I don't know, like, for example, Bubblegum Simulator, I'm going to assume they have this. But sometimes they have, you know, pets where it's like really neon bright and it always changes color. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to, well, pretty much make that. And of course, I'm going to add a few like variables or settings so that um, you can customize it however you want. You can change the speed. You can change, you know, how much colors it changes to, you know, how, how much colors there even are in general. Pretty much all of that. So, um, just another warning that this video uh, may be a little bit confusing, so if you have any questions, of course, just leave them down in the comments. I'll try to answer them if I can. But anyways, let's get uh, straight into it. Now, what you need is just a part and a script inside the part, because we will be referencing um, this part, well, of course, this part um, quite a few times. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Now these rainbow things always go in a loop, okay? It pretty much goes in a never-ending loop, like, it just doesn't stop. So, of course, we'll have to do while, true, do, and, you know, press enter, and then you'll get this. So, basically, um, we just said that whatever is inside here is literally just going to repeat forever, unless we say so. And, of course, we aren't going to say for it to stop, so, of course, this is going to go forever. Now, after this, I'm going to type in script dot parent dot color equals color three dot from hsv and i'm just gonna go zero one one now i'm going to quickly run you through what i just did here so basically i'm just referencing the parts color so of course that's script dot parent so i'm referencing the script right here and then i'm referencing its parent which is the part then i'm referencing its color so this thing right so this thing right here the one i'm highlighting then equals, which basically means I'm sending the value, and then color three dot from HSV. Now color three is pretty self-explanatory. I'm setting a color value, but from HSV, pretty much this means that um, instead of using RGB or red, green, blue, you're using hue, saturation, and value. And in here, hue basically means uh, what's what's a uh, part of the color spectrum right here you see as the hue go gets lower it changes color uh, as you can see right here and of course if i bring up the hue it changes color again it's all in the spectrum then saturation is basically how much color there is all right so as i go down you see as it gets more white the saturation gets lower as it gets more colorful the saturation goes up then of course we have value which basically is how dark it goes and it's this uh, tab right here. As you can see, as I lower it down, as it gets darker, its value gets lower. As I write, as I make it brighter, the value goes up. Now, of course, you want this to be as vibrant as possible, so you have to put one and one here. Um, one, of course, is the max, and zero is the lowest. Now, after this, you're going to need to put a uh, four I loop. So I did a tutorial on this uh, before. Of course, I also did a tutorial on while true loops as well. If you need any help with that, basically, we're going to say four. Oh, yeah. For i equals 1, let's do 100, 1, do. Which basically is saying, um, repeat this 100 times, all right? And the um, i is basically, for every loop, i uh, goes up uh, 1, or 1 value, which is this one right, wait, sorry, which is this one right here. I believe so, at least. <laughs> but then after this, I'm going to say the same thing from right here. So technically, we could just copy and paste this. Script parent color is equal to color three from HSV. But instead of zero, I'm going to turn it to i divided by one hundred. Now I'm going to quickly run you through why I did this. Now, first of all, when hue is at zero, it's red pretty much, as you can see right here. Then as it goes higher, now remember that hue doesn't like. Let's say if um from H sorry the hue value was let's say 0 0.5 right here, okay? That wouldn't mean that hue would become 0 0.5. No, it means that it is halfway through, or in other words, somewhere around here. If it was one, it would be all the way to this back over here. 0 0.75, it would be around here. 0 0.25, it would be over here. 
It's like a zero to one spectrum. So that means that for every 100, that means it would have to, um, that's how long each one would be. So because we're going 100 times, it would have to take 100 steps to get from hue 0 to hue 359. <laughs> Meaning that we would have to divide this by 100 so we get a like 0 point something value because we are doing, of course, a well, spectrum of 0 to 1. Because let's say I was, let's say, 37. That means this value would be 0 0.37, which is probably around over here. Let's say if it was 0 0.67, then it would probably be over here. You kind of get the idea. <laughs> now, of course, 1 in saturation, 1 in value, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, after this, we aren't actually done just yet. We also have to add a weight value. Now, this weight is going to determine how fast this rainbow sort of goes around. Now, of course, by lowering the value, it also makes it faster, but usually this weight can usually do the trick. Now, for the uh, tutorial's sake, I'm just going to put 0 0.03, which means technically it will take three seconds for it to cycle uh, to do a full rainbow cycle. Now, the reason why I put 0 right over here is that once it gets to um, 1, or once it gets to maximum hue, then if I go even higher, then it's just not going to work out. Like it just doesn't work. It just pretty much goes black, which means that we would have to reset the value to zero and then make it go all the way up again. So that's why once after, once it's at one, it stops. That's why we have a four I loop instead of a while true do loop. Then once that's done, this while true do loop does it again, resets it, and of course makes it go higher and higher. Resets it, goes higher and higher, etc., etc. Now, of course, you can, um, for simpler reasons, you can also add some variables over here if you really want to. So you can probably, so you can also say like, um, you know, time is equal to 0 0.03. Ooh. If it's green, of course, try that. There you go. So then you could go wait time. So technically, this would be 0 0.03. Then of course, you could also do like colors, and then you could go equals let's say 100. Then you could then you can uh, just do colors like this, and I divided by colors, just like that. And this would technically do the same thing. So what I'm saying here, or simplifying it, is that there's going to be 100 colors that will be displayed, and there will be a 0 0.03 interval um, in between each one. And if you run the game right here, you can see that, what well, bam it's changing color. Wow, wow, so amazing. But let's say, oh no, this is maybe too fast, right? I want it to be slower. Then you can either up color, oh sorry, um, turn the colors value up or turn the time value up. Now, because I want to have maybe, let's say, more colors, I'm going to up this to 200. Now, because there's 200 colors instead of 100, this should be twice as uh, slow. And as you can see, it has definitely gotten slower. And of course, there are more colors. So yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope everything made sense to you. If, I've, if, if you have any questions, of course, you can leave them down in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. But other than that, I hope this helped you in some way. Have fun scripting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!